I'm working on a bunch of projects coming up that need a bunch of one quarter inch phone jacks and that can get messy with wires and connectors all over the place. So I wanted something more stable and PCBWay sponsored this project where I can have a breakout board for these dual stacked phone jacks. One example where you need a lot of jacks like this in one spot would be something like an audio mixer where on the back you've got all these ins and outs. I found this Nutrick brand connector which has two stereo jacks stacked vertically. And it's a little expensive compared to just getting regular separate jacks, but it is more special purpose. On the front of the jack, there's a metal shield, and that's connected to a ground pin. So if maybe all of these are attached to a metal faceplate, all of that can be grounded if necessary. Otherwise, we have separate connections for tip, ring, and sleeve for both the top and bottom jacks. And they are switched, which we'll look at on the schematic. So there's a lot of pins here. And depending if it's a two or three conductor plug, the different sections are called sleeve, ring, and tip, which come from the old telephone switchboard days. Here's the schematic, which has these five sets of dual stacked phone jacks, just going to 0.1 inch headers for tip, ring, and sleeve on each three pin section. All of those metal shield ground connections I just wired together with grounds and I'm just making that available on an arbitrary 3-pin header if I wanted to put it to use in a circuit. But otherwise, all of these actual tip ring sleeve pins are completely separate, just going directly to a header, so I can do what I need to do. So we have the top and the bottom jack, tip ring sleeve, but also a switched copy of tip ring sleeve. When you insert a plug, this switch contact breaks and the actual sleeve of the plug is connected to this sleeve pin. So one way to use this, for example on tip or ring, if this is connected to an audio amplifier input, when nothing is plugged in and this is open circuit, say for left and right stereo inputs, it may pick up noise and hum. So what we can do is connect these switched pins just to ground, and when nothing's plugged in, the left or right input are grounded so it stays quiet. Then when you insert a plug, the ground connection is separated and the actual signal on the cable goes to left or right of the amplifier input. With everything connected, I'll just check that the metal on the front faceplate of the jack is connected to that shield ground on the board. And with nothing plugged in, I can check that the switch contacts are closed so the tip, ring, and sleeve are connected to the switched tip ring and sleeve. And when I do plug in a cable, there's no more continuity to that switched pin, and I do have continuity between the appropriate cable conductor and this breakout board. And here, just as a visual example, I have a previous couple of projects, one being a guitar effect circuit, where I needed a one quarter inch input and output jack, so I just had to have those hanging in the middle of nowhere, but now I would be able to just jumper that over to this board and keep things organized. And also a three input audio mixer I made, if I want to use quarter inch jacks, now I can just jumper straight over to the board and everything stays clean and it's a lot more efficient. So this is definitely going to be put to use in two near term projects. In the meantime, thanks to PCBWay for sponsoring the project and thanks for watching.